Did you start the game? Let's restart the game. Yeah. 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 
Now batting to the field number six, Daryl Mays. Let's go, Daryl. Streaming looks good. You can hear people talking like you in DC, but not too loud. Yeah, uh, we're gonna start. Coming. You hear this? Top of the second inning. Luca McCurley on the mound. And that was a nice throw down to second base. It's a cool day here in Clovis. Sunny, a slight breeze. <laughs> Perfect Putting conditions. Out the board, number 21, Mark Baca. What he said. Let's go, kid. Let's go, catch. One ball, one strike. Which is just outside. Balls, one strike, first batter. Top of the second inning. Just on that curveball, 3-1. First lefty for Luca face today. First of the day, line drive into right field. Ball back in the infield, and it stops at first. Here we go. It was a fastball. Now coming, right field number nine, Nick Stubblefield. 
try to get a ground ball here, trying to double play. Short lead off first base. Good pitch. That outside corner has been working for Luca thus far. Keep it, it's going to keep working all day. No balls, one strike. So on our first base close, keeping him honest. In preseason play, Nikhil's been making some great throws from the catcher position. One one. Pitch. Yes, he did. It's two strikes. One ball, two strikes. We're ahead on this one. First base is Eager. No runner. Tagged on the way first. That's one out. Runner advances to second. Play nice play. By Leo Asfar. Leo Asfar, first baseman. That's a curveball. Now, batting, catch number five, Jake Porter. Another lefty. Two outs. Two outs. Runner on second base. Days, you never know. Here we go, here's the pitch. Check the runner. It is. Foul ball. Outside of the first base lineman. Here we go. Luca again ahead in the count. 0 1. Doing a little Irish jig out there on the mound. <laughs> River dance going on. Two-step, two-step. What a pick. That's a curveball for a strike. Oh, two. Way ahead on this guy. It's a beautiful pitch. Comes back with a fastball and challenge in here. Another curve ball. Foul ball. Go 
Count remains. No balls. Two strikes. Two outs. Hard hit ball in the center field. Our center field is there, and that's a fly ball out. Daryl Mays in center field with a beautiful catch. Tracked it down, caught it. Not a problem. Score remains 0 0. Going into the bottom of the second inning. Berkeley High coming up. Can't get on. Marquis. Oh, that's all. I love it. Leo Aspar is going to come up to bat. Leo, William. Bottom of the second. Don't forget to head over to the Cold Door Snack Bar. Fuel your hunger and quench your thirst. The greatest snack bar in the world. Back to the I'll be Here we go, Leo Asfar up to bat. First pitch is a strike. Looked a little bit outside to me, but he called that one a strike. Been consistent with that call all day so far. We gotta start hitting the outside pitch. Let's go to right field. Let's do it. Take what they give you. And there it is. That's a hard hit ball. Deep center. Barreled it up that ball. Under just a bit. And the center fielder makes the catch. I gotta stop stepping on the play by play here. No, he was good. He definitely barreled it up. I'll, call, I'll chime in after we do the play by play. I'll, I'll be the color. Now betting. Right fielder number 12, Will Chang. Will Chang, also known as William Chang. Up to bat. Starting right fielder. He has been on a hot streak recently. Let's see if he can keep it up. He's calling that outside pitch. The guys got to start recognizing it. Strike one. No balls, one strike. You call that outside pitch, you force swings like that. Probably a ball, foul ball. Well, yeah, you got to protect that the plate there. Sure, no balls, two strikes. I would think. Oh, came fastball. Oh, that's trouble out there. But the right fielder gets under it, makes the catch. That's two outs. You should put a charge into it. Just missed it again. Yep. Thought that now, buddy, number nine, Trey. It was a nice Johnson. play by the right fielder. Uh, Trey making his varsity debut for the Yellow Jackets here. Strong lefty, left-handed power hitter. Sophomore. Sophomore. This young man can hit the ball. That's the right call by the umpire there. That is a ball, one ball, no strikes. I'm going to give a shout out to Benji Seashore Hobson who's listening in. Alumni, great player. Currently pitching in college. 
I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome all our live stream audience. This is our debut uh, broadcast. Thank you for joining us here in Clovis. We had 16 viewers last I checked there. Uh, tough pitch. But that was his pitch. We have uh, David Beasley here doing the play by play. Dan Newman, color commentator. David Chang here, just chiming in occasionally. Come on, Don. And Phil Paul Shook on the score beat me. One ball, two strikes. Trey Johnson. Let's go, baby. Give me a Ooh, got a piece of it. Battling up there. Way to battle. That's how we do it. Way to battle. Staying alive. Looking for his pitch. This kid has home run power. That's one thing we do know. He connects. He goes a long way. It's a good take on a close pitch. Those outside pitches when you're getting called. He's able to lay off that one. Working the count here. 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball, second base. Good clean fielding. The first for the out. That's three outs. Yeah, I just sent her a I sent her the link. Coming up for Boulder here at the top of the third inning, second baseman number eight, Luke Beal. And we're back. First pitch strike. Beautiful. Way to establish. Fastball with this guy. I've been getting ahead with that outside fastball. Both pitchers working that outside corner. He's hitting the spot. He's hitting the spot. He knows where the strikes are being called and he's hitting it. Again, what a beautiful pitch. A little bit off speed there. Looks like a change to me. It was a change up. That was beautiful. Out in front. Got him right where he wants him now. He can go come back with the fastball. Dirt. Hard hit ball, center field, he's under it, Daryl's under it and makes the catch. Hand corn there folks. One out. No, nothing. Let's hit number 12, Jackson Murphy. 
don't think he meant to get that much of the plate with that pitch, that 0-2 pitch. Typically, you want to get him to, to go fish, and you want him to swing at your pitch there. Got a little bit lucky on that one, that's for sure. But we got the out we were looking for. One out. Top of the Oh, he was getting that call earlier. So nice pitch. Not as much with the lefties. The lefty outside corner doesn't yeah. seem to be there. A little, little less consistent with that call. <laughs> Got that one. Yes. One ball, one strike. With the curve and the frame and the strike. One ball, two strikes. That ball really moves. Yeah, beautiful, a, beautiful move. Really got the curveball working today. What do we go with here, folks? Oh! Batter did a good job fighting that one off. Ball was barreling down towards the back foot. Up pitch. Yep, that ball just dropped just out of the reach of both the pitcher and catcher. Tough play. Loading that ball a tough play. Would have been nice to get that out, but here we go. We get one, two. The catcher was a little more over. Uh, okay, he's gotten better genes from the parents. <laughs> Please get out of the booth. <laughs> start, start comes early this <laughs> Ground ball, second baseman, EJ Fairchild. Easy play. Out. <laughs> Made the play. It was a nice play by EJ Fairchild. I'm getting berated here. In my back. Now batting center fielder number six, Trevor Wilson. We're back to the top of the order here for the Bully Knights. Number six, the center fielder, struck out his first time up. They're the Knights. Although they have a leaf on the back of their hats, so I'm not really sure where the Knights is coming from or where the leaf is coming from. Tamakawa in left field with the retrieval. That sounded like it came off the end of the bat, too. Though. Down batting. Shortstop number two, Beckett Zavora. Michael won the three. No, four seniors out there on the field right now. Along with Daryl at center. Luca pitching. And KP at short. Charge the ball. Out at well first done, base. Well done. Three outs. And that was nicely done. A couple of ground balls for the second base. And we're done. Once again, Willard leaves one on. 39 pitches through three. Pretty good. Pretty efficient for only two base runners allowed. Only two base runners. 39 pitches through three innings. Very efficient. The curveball is working, the fastball is working. 29 of those 39 pitches have been for strikes. And that's what I'm going to do. They don't have a strike. You know, I can tell you that. I just told you that. I'm using the word here. I didn't hear that.
Got Nikhil Beasley stepping to the plate here, making his season debut for the Yellow Jackets. Playing off for Brinkley, right-handed catcher. Catch number seven, Nikhil Beasley. I remember when this kid was in Little League. We used to call him Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, we did. First pitch. See if he can bring some of that flash to, this, to the varsity line this year. That's an outside pitch call for a strike. That is a tough one, I gotta tell you. Both pitcher, pitchers established, establishing that first pitch strike. Oh, oh, it's not. Safe at first base. Hard hit ball to first base. Hustled down the line, made it there. Yeah. Official scorer. That's kind of I think that's an error. That but ball that ball ate him up. Now batting, left field number four, Micah Tamakawa. Was able to get a piece of it, but Micah wasn't able to keep it. Our first base runner of the day, I believe, for the Yellow Jackets. For the Yellow Jackets. <laughs> Our being the Alpha right there. Micah scores, shows butt. Showed butt. That was a ball outside. One ball, no strikes. He'll be easily running on first base. Small lead. Secondary. Outside pitch. Showed it again. Showed it again. No strikes yet. Two balls, no strikes. Seems like throwing out of the stretch for this pitcher is throwing him off a little bit. He's missing outside, which he hadn't been up until this point. Look over to first base. Settles in. Here's the pitch. Nope, oh, back first. Safe. Got a hitter's count here at 2 0. Two balls, no strikes. What are we looking fastball here today? Oh, let's see if they still keep the bunt on here. 2 0. He does. He gets Puts it down. down. Oh, what a beautiful bunt. Advances the runner. Michael did his job there, advancing the runner to second base. Getting a runner in the scoring position for EJ Fairchild. Another yellow jacket making his varsity debut here. Today. Varsity debut from the left side of the plate. EJ Fairchild, a switch hitter. Will hit right where he needs to. Second base number one of EJ Fairchild. A little bit stronger from the left side. Right man, right spot here. Oh, woo! You got a lot of that, but that ball's tailing foul and lands foul. <laughs> Last season, EJ hit a home run from the left side. He's a season opener. Well, he's lead off batter in the first game of the season last year. What a, what a way to start off the year for the JV Berkeley High Yellow Jackets last year. A team that only lost one game all season, all bad. Ended the season 16 and 1. We'll bring up a lot of these strong JV players, and you know, let's see if he can continue with that success. <laughs> no balls, one strike. EJ starts out on the plate. Again, calling that outside pitch. Take that away. It's a broad strike zone today. Wind going just a little bit to the right field side. Turn on second. There's the pitch. Very well could have been called a strike. That could have been called. Has been called a strike. Has been indeed. He laid off of it. It's a close pitch. And it was a close pitch, but he laid off of it. Two balls, two strikes. One out. Bottom of the third. Runner in scoring position. Let's see if we can get this yellow jacket home. Hard hit ball scores a run here if we can get it, get it done. That's too far outside. You can't call that a strike if it's a 
full. No. Yeah, we're, we're count full here. Count is full. Yeah. Let's go. Radical's timeout. He's checking on the count. He, he lost track of the balls, too. But it is a full count. Three balls, two strikes here. Now batting, shortstop number one, Kevin Parker Jr. Back to the top of the order, Kevin Parker Jr., known as KP. Runner in scoring position. We don't want to waste this opportunity. So I gotta think KP is making a hard hit ball in the left center. First ball, runner threatens, retreats back to second base. Nice block by the catcher. One ball for a strike. One ball, one strike. Nobody's on first. We got a runner on second. Just missed. Just. It was a little low. Good discipline on the part of KP to not swing at that. Two balls, one strike, runner on second base. Bottom of the third inning. No score. That's a strike. Head in there, lower part, outside. Fastball at the knees on the outside corner. It's a pitcher's pitch right there. It is. Two balls, two strikes. We gotta look to hit the ball here. Curveball. Tough at bat. So, Berkeley Strands man at second base. Score position. Score remains 0 0. Heading into the top of the fourth inning. Enjoy the music, folks. <laughs> There's an easier way to do it. So I know, because it's, it's a foolish choice. 
Well, yeah. I did sack bite, it didn't work, so then I said fill the shorts. Here, go to the, go to... And I got it. Putting out for Bullard here in the top of the fourth inning. Third baseman number one, Cam Schneider. Big, powerful, right-handed Cam Schneider steps to the plate for Bullard here. Third baseman struck out his first out back. Ball one. Ball stayed inside, stayed up and in. It did not break the way he wanted it to. Shout out to Catherine B watching from Berkeley. That's a foul ball out of play. Back behind us. That cost somebody a windshield back there. Shout out to Tata on the LBC. Hello, Tata. LBC. So much drama in the LBC. I feel it's kind of hard to be a sneaky or double G. I'm about to let you talk about Nice block by the catcher there. Curly there. Curly committed 22. to Bowden College. Bowden. Bowden, Bowden, my, Bowden, my bad. In Maine. Shout out to Maine. <laughs> High fly ball just behind second base. KP makes the catch for out number one. <laughs> Bowden in the music this week earlier, announcing they'll give every student free. Uh, now, Bowden, first base number 21, Mark Baca. Bowden? Bowden. Bowden. Wow. Oh, wow. It's so yeah. nice to be a. He's got the endowment for it. Nice to be a Bowden. <laughs> Bowden. 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 Ah, yes, a polar, polar bear. bears. Right. Shout out got, to both polar bears. Remember, remember, the, remember the NESCAC conference? Single to right, his first out back. Oh, a nice curveball. It looked like a strike from here, but again, that lefty outside corner, harder to get the call. One out. Bases clear. Oh, hurt. Tough. That one slipped out of his hand a little bit. He's going to reset off the mound. Collect his thoughts a little bit. Refocus. <laughs> Two balls, no strike. And here's the pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. Was a little outside. That hasn't caught a strike. 3-0. Three balls, no strikes. Good that pitch. Was. Strike. Three balls, one strike. See if Luke can battle all the way back here. Hard hit ball, another fly ball. High into right field. Center fielder Daryl Mays calls it, makes the catch for the out. Two outs. Top of the fourth. Some good communication by the outfield. Now betting. Chang and Question number nine, Nick Stubblefield. Yep. They were both right there. Either one could have made the catch. Mays called him off. William back off, and we've got two outs here. Says bunt. But interesting. Must be fun for a base hit with nobody on the two out there. I'll see that all. Trying to change things up every day. Yeah. Uh, number nine here is the right fielder. Struck out another strikeout victim. His first out bat. So show bunt again. Are we gonna go bunt again here? Let's see. Nope. Swing away. Inside part of the plate. Luca undeterred. Beautiful pitch. That's a tough pitch to hit. Especially when you're leaning out looking for that outside one. Right, yeah. right. Smart pitching. Part of Luca. There's a curveball for a strike. Beautiful. Curveball freezes a lot of hitters. One ball. 
Two strikes, two outs. Way ahead. Hey, tried to get him to chase. Did not chase. Two balls, two strikes. Deuces. Hard hit ball to third base. Third baseman fields it. Long throw for the out. And there we go, folks. That is three up, three down for Berkeley High. Three, three and a third. Or three and a half. Yep. <laughs> Still tied up at zero. Zero, zero. Today's game brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. You need <laughs> auto parts. Napa's got you covered. And Cisco Webex. The future is hybrid. Baseman EJ Cord, pitch, hard hit ball foul. Jumped on that Putting up for Berkeley High School, third baseman number two, EJ Cord. Let's see if a uh, second time through the order, Berkeley uh, can put some, some base runners on here. They saw something like the first time around. Learned a little something. Oh, there's a hard hit ball. That is out in the outfield. Caught. By the left fielder, that was hit a long way. He sure did. Now batting, fielder number good. six, Daryl Bain. Daryl Mays, center fielder, up to bat. Four for one. I believe he grounded out in his first half bat. Right. Daryl had a home run in preseason play this season. With a shot in Dublin. Oh, that's a high swing. Foul, fly ball. Third baseman settles under it, makes the catch. That's it. Quickly two away here. Quickly two away. Try to extend this inning if you can. Leo. Now, batting. First baseman number 22, Leo Aspar. First baseman. Another powerful bat in the lineup. Let's see if we can get a hold of one here. Here's the pitch. Off the end of the bat, foul. No balls, one strike. Leo, like every Berkeley batter thus far, hitless. Oh, for one. That one gets away from the catcher. One ball, one strike. 
give him chances, but I do need to say that the bowler pitcher is throwing a no-hitter. No good sign. And that continues with that pitch. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Fastball here. Let's see what happens. A strike. I gotta say that did not look like a strike to me, but that's why I don't have this job. I <laughs> Five Ks so far from the bullet pitcher. And yet again, I must reiterate this. It's very important. No hits. He's throwing a no hit. We might have to go back and revise that call on the KOB system. Curly back at the mound. Putting up for Kohler, designated hitter number 28, Jimmy Mulvaney. Catcher number five up the bat. Left side of the plate, here's the pitch. Yes, oh, that's a strike. Very nicely done. Yeah. Yeah. Catcher there, that's a ball. One ball, one strike. Sun, some, the sun's starting to come down, creating challenging angles for the outfielders. You can see them shielding their eyes. Uh, outside, that one, two balls, one strike. Two one. Two one. Curveball. Oh, batter didn't agree with it. 
first pitch, he started them off with the curveball for strike one. Yep. And he missed with a curveball. <laughs> and then came up with something good. Another nice. base runner for the bowler. Nice hit. Now batting second base on the right, Luke Beal. Runner on first base, one out. The third hit of the day for the Knights, all singles. Looking for a ground ball here, trying to double play. First double play of the day. See what we got. Eighth, eighth place hitter here. Second base on number eight. Bullard with another base on him. Let's see if they can get something together. That's a ball time. Inside pitch. Better take his time. Stands in. Slightly off first base. Just an easy change. Courtesy try from the first. Keep him honest. One out. Inside high again. Two balls. No strike. Nice crowd here at the stadium. Approximately 60 local fans for the home team and perhaps 30 for the visiting team. Good showing. Throw down first, not in time. Three balls, no strikes. One of the first times all day when the curve's been behind the top. Consistently getting ahead of hitters. Like his pitch, let's see if he can come back. That's his first walk of the day. Runners on first and second, one out. A little bit of a different look. Pitching coach Josh Cephas to the mound. I'm gonna figure this one out. We're gonna take a little break. We did. Bottom of the order, first and second. One out. There's a bitch. Outside. Now battling one for the number 12, Jackson Murphy. Murphy in a bit of a spot here. Outside corner. Been living there all day. Signs of life in that bowler's dugout. Look at the top line. Third baseman back behind third. Makes the catch. Two outs. Nicely done. Back to the top of the order. Two outs. Now batting. Seven pitcher number six, Trevor Wilson. Wilson, the leadoff batter, is one for two. Runners on first and second. Infield playing back. Timeout. 
batter called. Comes back in. Once again, two outs. And here's the pitch. Nicely done. Outside pitch. Didn't chase it. One ball. One ball. Welcome back in. Two runs coming. He left that fastball up. Jazz has got so much of a play for Two runs from across. The score is two nothing. We have two outs. Top of the fifth inning. Bust foul. Strike one. Yes, 
outside part of the play to end the trend. Big out. That's a big strikeout. A couple of runs did score, so it's now on birthday to get the bats going. Start cooking. Curly able to limit the damage. And a runner threatening from third. Got the third out. I don't know, but somebody should go warm. Should be warming up. Steps up to the plate here, leading off the oh, bottom of the field. Looking out for Berkeley, right to the number 12, Will Chang. Berkeley's down by two. Chang swings at the first pitch and taps it foul outside of third base. Home count. Berkeley's still hitless on the day. Let's see if they can get something started here. No ball. Two is the Cats. No ball, two strikes. William Chang, starting right fielder, junior. Had to go chase that one. It's going to be trouble dropping, but it's a little high, just too high. Settles on for the catch, right field. One down here in the bottom of the fifth inning. It's Chang's second fly out to the right fielder today. Now batting, designated hitter number nine, Trey Johnson. Let's go, young Trey. Here we go. Let's go, Trey, right now! Two left for a strike. One ball, no strikes. Trey grounded out to the second baseman in his first out back. Fouled out of play. One ball, one strike for Trey Johnson. See if Trey can get a hold of one here. Looking for his pitch, looking for that fastball, something he can drive. Right back at us for another foul ball. Trey looks to be all over this. He's coming to hit, and he's got to be. Got to trust himself. Get ready for that off-speed pitch. A little curveball, maybe here. Good eyes, right there. Two balls. Oh, up the middle for a base hit. Very nice. Our first hit of the day. Spoils the no-hitter. Now we gotta put something together. Let's get rolling. Now, buddy, 
Catcher number seven, Nikhil Beasley. Beasley hit a hard ground ball to the first baseman and, uh, and moves on an error in the third inning here. This commentator would contend that that might have been an actual hit. But <laughs> we can discuss that after the game. The play by play. Man on first base. May or may not be the batter's father. It may, be, may or may Check not be. Slightly biased here. One out. That's a strike. Man on first. Go bees. Looks up the sign. Coach Curtis Sandiford. Coach of third base. Yeah, ready. That's outside, boom. Alright, I'm gonna go back that to the outside, outside pitch. I'm not sure how your strike zone has expanded a little bit. So how are you supposed to Too far outside to call the strike. Yeah. Gotta take away that outside part of the play. Fooled him with that curveball, that's for sure. Got him good. Now batting, left to number four, Micah Tamakawa. I didn't see that, but I saw him pointing at his head before. Let's go, Micah. Stop. Makes a play. Throws in the high. Makes the other. Field Beasley comes back out catching. Looks like we might have a pitching change here for Berkeley High. Center fielder on the mound. Good pitcher from Berkeley High School, moving from center field to the pitcher's mound. Number six, Carol May. Good pitcher from Berkeley High School, moving from center field to the pitcher's mound. Number six, Carol May. Nathan Seashore Hobson takes over in left field. Micah moving from center left field to center field. Number four, Micah Tamakawa. Hobson. If you haven't done so already, make sure to check out the Columbus North Snack Bar. Get yourself a nice warm hot dog. 
Now batting, designated hitter number 28, Jimmy Voltini. Seconds. That pitch. 
Another shot. Beautiful pitch. Same spot. As much as Sandoz is sent to him, put like a little bit of the knees and then wind up going down almost to the dirt. Challenge for the catcher. So far, hasn't been a problem. Oh. We had him dead to rights, but shortstop was not covering. No balls, two strikes. Reset. Two-o ball game. One out. For the strikeout. Beautiful pitch on the outside part of the plate. Fastball. A lot of heat on that. Two outs. Runners on first and second. And I can confirm as uh, now batting catch number five, Jay Porter. That he is indeed wearing a gator and not a sleepless turtle. It's good to confirm these things. For sure, for sure. Just want the viewers to you know, have an accurate picture of what's going on here at Clubs North today. Consider First ball low inside. Ball. Hard hit ball into right field. William Tang picks it up. We've got runners coming. Gets the cut. That's a one run single. Runners now in the corner. Bullard increases the lead to 3 nothing. Two outs. Darryl had been pounding the zone down low. He was. Now batting, second baseman number eight, Luke Beal. Yeah, it was just kind of a looped, looped shot into right field. It wasn't particularly a hard hit, but it was enough to score a run. Advance the runner. Runners on the corners, two outs. Three nothing ball game here. Bullard up on Berkeley High. Ball one. Aggressive move by the catcher. Chase that guy back to third base. 1 0 count. Fly ball, center field. Settled under. Michael with the catch. The third out. Minimal damage. They did tack on another another run, and that uh, just means we got to do a little more. Here. Stay tuned for game two of the doubleheader as Franklin High School takes on your Columbus on Broncos. Same pitcher for Bullard, number 17. Been throwing a heck of a game. No need to change. Six strikeouts, no walks, no runs, not one hit across. Glasses keep the pitch count. Now, we're on 62 pitches, five. Very efficient. Which is why you can just keep on going.
Looking for the Yellow Jackets, second base number five, EJ Fairchild. Got the number nine hitter, EJ Fairchild, stepping to the plate here. EJ's a fast runner, almost like having a second leadoff batter here. Fouls that out of play. Count is going one. Berkeley looking for some base runners here. Down by three. Another foul ball out of play. Going to just off the outside corner. One and two. Protecting the plate, one and two. To the first base, one he gloves it, steps on first with the first out. Now batting, shortstop number one, Kevin Parker Jr. KP up, going down. Kevin is 0 for 2 on the go with two strikeouts. First pitch breaking ball for a strike. So KP. Sides of the plate. Comes back with a curveball, hung that one a bit, but KP hooks it out of play. Foul, still over two. Bounces that one in the dirt. One and two. Two and two. Two. 
Seems to be losing a little bit of that control that he had earlier in the day, but uh, still effective. Brooklyn High cannot seem to catch up to those strikes. He still hasn't blocked anybody. Very effective, very efficient. Had a hard hit ball. Lazy fly ball. So we need some field. Three up, three down for the Yellow Jackets. Head into the top of the seventh. Three nothing. Still, three nothing. We're only going seven. <laughs> only going seven. Gotta hold him here. Another pitching change. Kevin Parker Jr. is coming in for Daryl Mays. Mays is heading to shortstop. The rest of the fielder for Mays. Flame throw with Kevin Parker Jr. That's been known to touch 90 from the hill. Jackson Murphy. Nine more two up for Bullard this inning. This is Bullard, the left field. Stepping in against Kevin Parker Jr. who misses high with ball one. And down and in for ball two. Parker's primarily a shortstop, but he's got a heck of an arm. Throwing high 80s to low 90s. He's got a pop-up on the infield. 
Parker will take that himself for out number one. Back to the top of the order here for Ward. Wilson, the center fielder, who's two for three on the day with two RBIs. Shows bunt, pulls it back in time. Ball. Substitution during the inning. Kevin Parker Jr. taking over a pitcher, moving from pitcher to shortstop, Daryl Mays. Tapper to second base. Fairchild gets it and throws to first for the easy out. Two down. Now batting shortstop number two, Red Everett. Correction, Red Zavorek. Beckett. The batter, Beckett Zavorek, I believe is the man. 0 for 3 on the day. Takes ball one low away. Fastball must have missed. Out. Maybe up. Two and out. Yep. There's a strike. Painting the outside corner. Two and KP win it now. Oh yeah, got a nice job. It's a strike three. Good inning there from Parker, keeping it at three nothing. Bullard. Last chance for Berkeley coming up. Bottom of the seven.
All right, Daryl Mays strides to the front. Daryl Willie Mays Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can get some starry for the Yellow Jackets. Only one hit so far. And that's number 17 for Bull Bull. Rockets stand away. Long one. It's amazing. For strike one, one and one's the count. Fuller pitcher at 82 pitches through six. Six plus. It does look like they have some, somebody more than the bullpen. Just in case he gets a little bit of control here. And he's swinging for that one. Two and two is the count. In Scully, doing the game on my own here. Her ball hung up a little bit. Lines out to center field for the first out. Not finding the gaps today. These birthday hitters putting balls in play, but not finding gaps. Number 22, Leo Asbar. Hard contact either. Let's go, Leo. Let's see if Leo can change that here. Strike one. Once again, outside corner. Head <laughs> over to third base. And Berkeley is down to the final out here. On opening day for the Yellow Jackets. Come on, Will. Will. Let's go! Battle, buddy, battle! The last hope for the Yellow Jackets. Chang has had some solid contact today. Two flags to right. Once again, outside basketball. First strike. Heading right fielder number 12, Will Chang. Tuning in. Board was led by a complete game, two hit shutout oh, by two pitcher Jacob Yamara. You got to change it now. 